So I just opened another um, art print and I was totally surprised because there is some kind of like um, how would say uh, a cover or plastic cover that is amazing thank you Sidetree for that one I've been waiting for this kind of cover for the art prints for quite some time this is pretty good so let's see I hope for the other art prints as well they also have this Before we dive down into the details of the art prints that I'd like to show you guys, like this one is actually pretty dope. Um, I'd like to share with the, this plastic cover or sleeve from Saiju Collectibles to protect your art prints. Um, it's really good, I love it, but there's two things you need to be very careful. So the first one is basically when you remove it. When you remove this, there's a big tendency because the, the art print is very curled up, it's rolled up and it would it might damage when you bring it out or pull it out from this sleeve. So do be careful of that one. The next one would be the, the I don't know what it's called, the, the sticky part. Um, actually, I removed it. Uh, before I removed the paper or the art print, I actually removed that sticky, the one that sticks here. Because I'm really scared that when I removed it, it will stick the back or even at the print itself. So I was really scared about that one. So before I removed the print out from this sleeve, I cut it. Can't you see? You should never come too close. Believe me, cause I know. On the level with you. If you think that you can handle this. Let's start with this bad boy right here and this is by um, Mark Brooks. This is Tony Stark Iron Man. This is very good. This is, I would say, one of the best Iron Man uh, art prints that I have seen. Um, not just in terms of detail, but in terms of realistic look. So I really love this before I'm gonna geek out with this one. Um, let's have some short info. Uh, limited edition to 350 by, um, by done by Mark Brooks uh, from Sideshow Collectibles. Uh, this is actually from the Tony Stark Iron Man uh, 2 comics. Uh, it's really good. They mentioned typical Sideshow which is 24 by 18. Really good stuff. 300 GSM. Again, phenomenal. So those are some. Uh, also has an edition size. I mean, my edition size is 135. Uh, 125. That's really good. Signature by Mark Brooks as well. So now let's go on to the details regarding this piece. I love how Mark Brooks uh, makes his art, making it more realistic. Um, for this case, it's I, I'm not sure, maybe it's more complicated in terms of the details, but I think it makes it more realistic in a sense. There's no skin tone that you need to do, that you need to have the right type of uh, color or skin tone because it's all metallic and that's what makes this I would say more and more realistic because of the you can see the highlights in the in the armor shining really good stuff uh, my only nitpick would be the the lighting because it seems like it's too bright but his outside earth's orbit I'm not sure if the sun is reflecting it here 
I it would have been better I would say if he incorporated the, the lighting the shadows because the the light is down here and it seems like there's a light up here as well so I don't know how that works but either way for visual purposes he looks amazing the details are good I loved again the lines the shadows the highlights and everything how the light uh, let's say reflects in his armor that is also pretty awesome there's also very beautiful line work here as you can see in this armor like it, it, he made the armor really look realistic and other than the the proper lighting of the p uh, of the of the artwork itself that's another thing like i said in terms of visuals this also looks pretty amazing love the the concept as well where he's about to transform into a hawk buster really good stuff and i love the pose like i said uh, i love how it's done concept of this one really amazing amazing stuff another amazing stuff by mark brooks The next one in here is the Ben Oliver uh, Catwoman number seven. This is also another comic book cover. Really amazing stuff. I'm always a sucker for like uh, artistic uh, kind of art, like like this one. Like in my understanding, this might be like a watercolor. Really beautiful. I love this kind of art. Um, it has this really nice artistic feel. Like there's really come some kind of expression. But before we go geeking out again, uh, some additional information. Uh, edition size is uh, 350. Also has this um, options for frames and typical sideshow size, which is or dimension 18 by 24, 300 GSM. Really beautiful stuff. I really love this um, this artwork by Ben Oliver. This is a very beautiful piece by Ben Oliver. This is uh, one of my favorites in the Catwoman um, line. I think it was last year, so I've been collecting some Catwoman covers in the comics because it's Ben Oliver and also uh, what I favor Ben Oliver um, and also Art Germ. I think not, I, I couldn't remember if there was uh, in Yook Lee. Um, I forgot but either way I, I love those covers that's why I really love this it's very artistic it has this uh, let's say expressionism um, kind of feel as you can see that there's like blending of colors um, really beautiful is uh, beautifully done at the same time you can also still see how she expresses how how she moves and some like very cool stuff or somehow like uh, hints so she's trying to make the battering as her earrings. That is quite amazing. But what I love with this one is actually this part. This part here, the face itself. One is because um, the, the gradient feel, that actually looks amazing. It makes it more, you know this uh, Catwoman, she's always in the alleys. Uh, she's in like a cyberpunk kind of feel. And it has that one. And it, it, it only shows that she is in the city some some kind of that feel but at the same time you with the face that was that is very nicely done you can see how glamorous she is how beautiful she is look at her look at that she looks amazing she kind of reminds me of my girlfriend i think yeah when she had a short hair or something anyway again this is very beautifully done i love how ben oliver uses the negative space the white and the size look at that isn't the composition is amazing so thank you for this ben oliver amazing stuff catwoman number seven one here the biggest problem for me is I cannot pronounce his name the artist Bill Saikiewicz Sain Saikiewicz I'm sorry but either way great job with this one this is one of my favorite cartoons when I was still a kid uh, in Cartoon Network I watch a lot of Space Ghost and this is entitled Space Ghost Future Quest and it has an edition size of a hundred 
The unframed one seems to be already in waitlisted, uh, but the framed ones is still available inside your website. It doesn't, um, it doesn't have the same uh, paper as the Sideshow typical papers, the 300 GSM. Um, but this one is a lithograph. It has the same size that or dimension, 18 by 24, and it has also. Um, it's a bit more expensive. I think it's around 100, um, 105 or 100 USD. This one in SGD is around 140. Let me confirm. So let me see where it is. So I don't know. Uh, again, I I'm not sure how much is the conversion in this USD, but either way, this is really amazing stuff. And now for all the details. Um, for the characters in here, there's Space Ghost, there's Blip, um, Jan and Jace, I forgot which one is who, to be honest, I totally forgot. And in the background is basically, if I'm correct, this is Lo uh, Zorak and Brack, if I'm correct. Um, I think so. So they are mostly the, like somehow like the villains. I do not know who is this at the back. There's a portrait at the back like shouting as you can see there. Um, that could be still Space Ghost or maybe Harvey Birdman or something. But either way, really love. And this one also has this like uh, a very good artistic feel. So Space Ghost, he actually goes invisible, um, transparent or something. And it, it actually shows here. I love the color combination, really love that. I also love the, the or, not organic, something like the original feel, the cartoony feel from Space Ghost and how it's incorporated here with a lot of artistic background. It shows like it's space, it shows the, the villains, it shows his somehow, his, I, I guess it's his face. Really, I, I mean, artistically done. Um, I, I don't know how it's done in uh, if he painted this or something so and he painted it with also a touch of the, the cartoony part and again that makes it artistic at the same time original to the cartoons itself so I really love this love the colors love the composition love the characters there love the cartoons itself so amazing stuff um, again by let's call him I don't need to call him Bill because I cannot pronounce his family name really good stuff here I really love this